Hello everybody. This is the 60 the percent the can't. And how are you doing today? Well, we, I tell you what we're doing. We're doing the crafting the mines. All right. In particular, do my main file that I haven't done in a long time. Uh, listen to some Tchaikovsky. The good old Nutcracker Suite. And yeah, I've been playing my file. I had a kind of a binge play for a while. And I didn't record anything. So I wanted to update y'all on what I got. I got colorful sheep. That's what I have. That's all I have. Okay, uh, my poor little computer is just not very quick. It's very, very slow. And all these sheep are lowering the rendering. I'm sure I had this in prior recordings. Uh, jumping, jumping chickens. Nobody, oh god, look, I'm overstocked. I broke the cardinal rule of not finishing a gameplay with uh, unloading on my sheet. But, um, let it just load a little bit. I do have quite some modifications on my main fuck cheese. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Let's see, like, let's give you a distant view. Oh, fucking spiders, don't fuck with those. I got a sweet, uh, power four flame bow. It's pretty amazing. Oh, the computer is dying right now. <laughs> I have this. It is a pyramid. A pretty good pyramid. 64 by 64 with uh, incrementing it two blocks at a time. I had to finish out the windows. Which are going to be this big diamond shaped of colors. This is going to be green glass. Um, there's blue, yellow, and red as well. Has a little pathway because I have all my sheep over in that area, and they kind of like fun. I want them to funnel a little bit into here. So inside the pyramid, um, I'm gonna make this green. It's almost like a an atrium. So there's kind of glass glass roofs. So you have to replace all this upward with glass. This is the closest it is to being done, as far as one of the sides. Uh, this side and this side as well. Uh, I might have the very top roof do something with that, but I'm not sure. Um, but I want a kind of like spiraling dirt path that goes upward, spiraling around the edges. So kind of going up here like this. This is a good example right here. So it kind of goes up and up and up. And I want it to keep going up all the way around until you get to near the top. And it'd be dirt and maybe like waterfalls, just make it really like pretty, you know? With animals, just like this really pretty indoor uh, nature area. It's nice. Oh. Jesus, it's a spider, it's right here. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Slice your head off! I was clicking way too fast for the one po the combat update. <laughs> okay, let this load a little bit. I'm gonna increase my render distance so you can see all of it. So this has been like this for a long time. I kind of filled out the top because it was a little bit hollow right there. This is a new arm right here. I originally intended for it to be straight up, but I wanted this kind of curved thing. I thought it'd be look cool with the rest of the shapes that are going on with the fortress. So I think it fills it out pretty nicely. Um, so that the uh, nether brick area is where all my base stuff is. So there's these other levels too with other things inside of them. Uh, to store more stuff and maps and etc. I also have these arms which are new that still need some work. Um, yeah, it needs to kind of get filled out. It's the most difficult area fill out like right there like just a little bit more 
more curvy. It's a little bit fat on the bottom and then not enough girth near the top. But it's hard to do it. I mean, I'm building all this in survival mode, so yeah. Uh huh. I'm hardcore. No, you're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. So this, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, something to do with the outside too. I need to make it look a little better. Oh, I've, I can see underwater better because uh, I have an Aqua Affinity helmet, which I hope I never get rid of. It's such a sweet helmet. Probably shouldn't be wearing it all the time. Aqua Affinity and Respiration. Aqua, Aqua Affinity is amazing. I absolutely love it. I believe it, uh, Increases your sight underwater, your speed maybe, and your when you mine things under when you're in water you mine things faster and work on things. So this is what it is on the inside. Not very much, just lit it up. Um, I forgot what I was gonna do with this. I don't know. Maybe a library. The inside of the fortress looks pretty cool now. It's, it's, it has more character. You walk around. Um, this is like almost like an indoor building that kind of comes out, and I like that aspect. Right now on this arm, I have this stairwell. A diagonal stairwell that's kind of jittery when you go up of it. But uh, I like the dimensions of, or the, <clears throat> the angles of things and such, how it looks. Uh, wind air. And I'm not as happy with these side stairs, but they are where they are. See a little bit of this. If that cloud wasn't in the way. Ugh. And you see the other arm right there. Just nice texture, variety, and stuff. And that's what I was kind of going for. Like these kind of like tower structures. Uh, even though there's nothing really to do in the towers. I'm more about structure than I am about in inner content. Which is okay. Actually, the most stuff that has the most content is this arm right here. It's full of content. Um, you can see the other pyramid down there got a lot of pyramidal themes. The glass of this atrium right here. The path has a nice look, too, up here. Uh, probably need to make more paths. I need to kind of touch this area up, maybe. This is usually where I fight monsters, so. Oh, I think I did I. And there's like a little waterway to get into my base. Come right there. It's a pretty sweet. Gives you a pretty sweet um, view, too. So I like using Minecraft to kind of test out design, building design concepts. To kind of get the feel for it. I like building survival, too, because it's almost more realistic. It's more limited, so you have to be more creative, essentially, to resolve your physical limitations. And plus, I love just playing the game, so it's nice to further the game while you're designing. Um, not able to beat the energy dragon. There's a weird glitch. So I actually can't quote unquote beat the game. I would like to get another star and get a, a pyramid going, a beacon. Um, so I've been clearing this out. The edges down here. So this is like a flat edge. This is like a complete part. I'm also gonna go five blocks this way too. So pretty much like all this stuff is supposed to be cleared. Um, so it'll be like this big channel in the middle. Um, I'm also going to build like, hopefully like these rooms or pathways or, and bridges and stuff between. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but kind of the ideas are poking. So I've increased the chests and stuff around here a little bit as, as quantity of things increased. Um, so we can look inside this little red tower here. Decrease my render chunks a little bit. So this is like the map room. This is the surplus <laughs> room. So this is all the stuff I've explored. Here I am right there. I'll zoom in so... See stuff. In a previous episode I was looking for uh, a jungle and I was going like all the way over here. I think in the episode, this is this is all like the areas I was going to. Um, so there were no jungles there. I think like this is a swamp area or a witch hunt hut. A lot of plains and mountains here. Um, 
There's a big open ocean right below me. I'm in a pretty sweet spot. It's funny, I never explored this really close area. Uh, I must have been there. I just hadn't mapped it out. You can actually even see, if you look really closely, you can see this little village right there, and then my pyramid village right there. If my, uh, if my icon right here wasn't blocking, you could see some of the structures I have. I think this is my pyramid island right there. Um, so I did find a jungle. It wasn't over here, it wasn't over here, but it was way south. Holy shit, that is pretty far. So, I got pretty lucky. Um, that's a desert. Yeah, this is... Is this jungle? This is jungle? I don't think this is jungle. This is just regular forest. But this is all jungle right here. Very, very huge, dense. And so I started building a structure in there with using lava and water. That's probably what that is, that little gray spot. Um, so that's cool. So maybe I can show that in this episode. It's cool, I love the exploration element of this game. And it's infinite. So I got some mass things if I have too many. I had to kill a lot of sheep because I breed too many, but I mostly breed them to get the colors I want and to get a lot of experience points. Uh, oh, I hollowed out a freaking... <laughs> a freaking um, underwater structure. I forgot what they're called exactly. Yeah, that was a huge ordeal. I totally surrounded it with sand blocks um hoping i was able to i was i didn't understand the water thing so i thought i could just fill the top layer surround it fill the top layer and then uh i thought all, all the water would disappear but it did not so i spent i have a ridiculous amount of sand surrounding it um, i had to finish i was tweaking the stairwell so now i can't get all the way up so I was saving that for later to fix. Um, I don't know if I'll do another level. Yeah, I could fit another level probably, but not very much content. It might be just cooler to have this tall. I have enough space. Like I don't even have a use for this room right here. I'm just putting paintings on the wall. Uh, oh, is this, this is another level. Shit. <laughs> this, this, whole, um, this whole red structure is four levels. cool really I'm really happy how this turned out I like the the feel of the interior and how it looks exteriorly and how it works with the rest of the building very very happy how that turned out something's complete in my game <laughs> so I'm 60% cat um, I just want to show you really quick uh, something new is I just did, oops, that's not right. Yeah, this is obviously in editing, and you don't want to fall in the lava. Um, we have this stairwell here. So nothing really that special, but I was having trouble getting all the way up when I would, I'd go to get to the diamond, <clears throat> to get diamonds, I would fall, always fall down here and then venture out. What the fuck? Did you see that shit? What? I have no arrows? Oh no. Oops. I'm sure I can handle him. Haha. -ha. Um, just didn't want to blow anything up I was working for, but nothing's, it's not that edited. So down here you can see below. Pretty neat. Definitely a lot I could do with this, and I do want to do something. Maybe you can cool have vines all going going all the way up that. I never thought of that. But I thought it'd be cool to have like rooms in here, like really tall rooms, and then maybe some like bridges. Um, not too many, just enough to give it a little bit of texture, and to uh, it'd be cool to walk through them and kind of see everything around. Um, these are all caves around here. So, I could turn these into rooms, I guess? I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of funny. There, I mean, this wasn't this wasn't a natural trench at all. I totally dug out this entire trench. Um, 
but it has trench features where trenches usually interject with other cave structures. So that occurred. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's kind of a the theme. There's like the central column of stone, and right above that, you know, goes below this large trench. I have a river and lake on one side. Uh, quartz, a little bit of quartz right here with dirt on top of that, a big mound of dirt, really circular and such. And then my spire that kind of pokes out. And then those two other stone arms. I feel like I should do something with the color with that to make it look a little better. What the hell? <laughs> the vines grew on the inside. This little pond here. So, what to show next? Um, I go to the jungle. Um, and show that. Although it's, there's not really not much to it, honestly. I actually got, I got a cat. I had a, I brought a cat all the way over here. I freaking made a path all the way to that freaking jungle, an insanely long path. Um, I got a cat here, but the fucking cat disappeared. I forgot what happened to the cat. I don't know what happened to the cat. Maybe he died somehow. That was just it was <laughs> a lot of effort. It was really disappointing. But I was burning down the jungle to attempt to get more cats. But I'm gonna show um that underwater monument, that's what it's called, that I hollowed out. So eventually, I found out you couldn't do it, but I found out about sponges. Um, so, uh, so I got the sponges that I could, I killed the guardians, so I could actually work down there. And look at these, obviously these are pockets of air underneath the water, it's so weird. So I mined a ridiculous amount of sand to wall out this underwater monument. So this is my giant sand uh, blockade, which is totally useless. And even the, the, the roof is also stone because I thought that would clear it, but it's kind of, so it doesn't look great, it looks pretty bad. But look at all this sand, so much sand. Here's the monument. Oh yeah, and I have a path underneath to access it. Oh jeez, oops. So, I think it's actually easier to access it through that path. I don't know how far it goes. I know it doesn't go all the way. Or maybe it does. Nice, it looks pretty cool. I think originally I wanted to have it like a stairwell going up. But then I decided to just bring it all the way into the very, very bottom of this island with the pyramid. If that ever loads. So, it would go underneath and you come out. Oh my god, lava! <laughs> Let's see, I should be able to. Yeah, it's not nearly complete. So, as you would. You'd be underneath and come all the way over here, underneath this little glass pathway, to go into the monument. I don't know if I was going to clear the sand or not, I probably just won't even bother. I'll just leave it as it is. I was done working on this monument. But yeah, I used sponges on the inside to clear out all the water. <clears throat> so it's completely, there's no water, and then I also cleared out the taller rooms. Yeah, I think I cleared out a shitload of the blocks and finish out the column. So I modified this a little bit, just to make it more open. I think I was going to do more, but I didn't bother. But it's kind of interesting. Oh, I just want to be able to get up a little bit. It's not like there's any stairs or anything. It's interesting the structure, because it's really wide on the base. And then incrementally, it gets much less wide. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I have a lot of that shit in there. Okay. So it's kind of cool to see it hollowed out. 
Obviously it's very wet in here, it's dripping all over the freaking place. Okay, well that's the little preview of my place, hope you enjoyed that. Um, maybe I'll do record some more of me actually playing the game. Au revoir.